just give the room for engineer delight to you know introduce himself and just give us a brief of what he has done and how he's going to be directing us in this printed circuit board design playlist or episode over to you engineer delight Okay, uh, good day everyone. Um, my name is Gos Delight Jude. Um, I am an electronics engineer <clears throat> currently working in the field of renewable energies. Um, I've done some work in hardware design, um, solar systems, solar system design audits. I'm working as an energy analyst currently. Um, I've been opportunity to work with uh, some really great guys on some really nice products in the park and I am into hardware engineering. I'm constantly learning about hardware, um, new designs, features, new ways of doing things and like the most important thing is I constantly try to iterate my designs. Um, so in this series, I'll be trying to cover things like, um, schematic designs, um, different parts of the circuit board or different parts of your hardware project, um, how to interpret your schematic to PCB, some rules in the PCB designing, um, um, some component introduction, bare metal um so for instance um some of you are familiar with the arduino um, arduino development board so what i will be doing is i will be using the onboard microcontroller on that development board to like give us a feel of how bare metal works um, we're not going to use the development board we're going to use like the arduino chip itself the 8 mega little it uh, we'll build around the microcontroller. We'll add some features, see how we go from adding features to um, selecting components, to bringing it together, designing it, sending it out to China for printing. Um, so there are a lot of software out there you could use for your design, for your um, component selections. Um, examples are like Proteus, your Kai card, LT supplies, um, there are a lot of them out there. Um, I use a few of these measures, but primarily the one I use to make PCB designs and get them printed is EasyEDA. Now, EasyEDA uh, works with some other companies like LCLC and they enable you to source your components in the design stage. What that means is, as I'm designing and I am using a particular component, I can check if that component is available in inventory or I can pre-order that component for my board. Um, another thing EDDA helps, allows us to do is make custom design with custom components. Um, so, I can make a custom layout for a full strength, then um, include it in my board, get that shit down to me, then put in a custom component. Um, so, let me just share my screen to give like a basic introduction to what we will be doing. Um, Okay, so like I said, I'll be doing like a brief um, introduction to how EDDA works, um, how you can do way around, <clears throat> how you can navigate your way around the software, um, going over some schematic designs. In your, like if you're developing a product, for instance, um, let's say you're developing a, an IoT project that uh, counts how many people leave or enter a room or you're developing a project that uses a PIR sensor, an IoT project basically. 
you're going to need things like um, power supplies. What form are you using to power that project? Are you using a DC source, an AC source? Are you using a DC source? What is the circuit power supply going to look like? How are you going to interpret it? What can you do to make it better? Um, signal. Are you measuring any external signal, analog signals? Uh, what type of filter filtering are you going to use? If you're building something like a an audio device, uh, maybe a speaker, you need to do some signal sampling, analyzing, or processing. You need some <clears throat> EMI filters. Um, you need some low or high pass filters, basically. Um, are you using microcontrollers in your project? Um, what kind of microcontrollers do you require? Do you require the ones with large inbuilt memory? Or are you going to use an external memory? Uh, will your microcontroller be too whole or surface mount? Um, how much effects will it too whole? Or also, the size of your board is very important. Like some people now want to design projects for wearable electronics. Like I want to design a smart wristwatch or something I could slide into my clothes. Um, I need something that is very tiny, carry on, that is very lightweight. So um, I may be using very miniature batteries, maybe small batteries. So I need something that consumes very little amount of energy and can last for a very long time. So in your design, you're going to, one of the features is that your project is going to have a very um, power conscious or power efficient power supply. Um, it's going to drain or it's going to drain very minimal energy into so enter sleep mode when um, it's not sending or receiving information when it's not processing anything. So these are like considerations to take when you're designing your board. So um, this series is just going to be hardware based, mm, purely hardware based. Yeah, um, focus at getting you from idea to schematic from schematic to pcb from pcb to ordering from ordering to ordering so like that's what the idea the roadmap so on my screen um we have um this is a project i did a couple of years ago about two or three years ago um it just has like the microchip um has some capacitors some resistors has like an inductor all surface mounts um, we have some power supply sections um it's just a very basic chip with peripheral pins where you can connect pins that you can use to power the board do some communications do some triggering this was like a very 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 um generic board um i guess it was a few years ago so i'm just using this to like show you give you an idea of what your project might look like at the end um it's very minimal um this is very tiny in size very very tiny and it's also being displayed on the screen now it's easy to check when my mouse when my cursor is hovering out to see the easy view there and I'm using the student version. Um, student version still gives you a lot of, or rather, all the features you require at this stage. Um, and so, allows you to select components, pick from libraries, source parts. You can source parts from different suppliers. <clears throat> there are a lot of suppliers out there, so you can choose where you want your components to come from. You can price them based on price, on manufacturer, on location. Is there any waste time? Like you can do all that on this software. So, um, like I said, this is just like a generic board. All components being surface mounts. We have a few wires. Um, it's a two-layer board. So we have copper traces at the bottom and at the top. <coughs> um that was basically it so most of the designs will be making will look like this we'll make them as compact as possible uh we'll consider some things around noise and filtration 
which are very, very key. Uh, so that's what we're going to be going over in the um, in this series. So um, I'm looking forward to dropping some content. I'm looking forward to learning from you guys, and I'm looking forward to you guys learning from me also. Like, yeah, thank you. And that's like my basic intro. <laughs>